Hi, Stephen here from Not Just Cables. You may have watched my previous video on link aggregation on a free NAS server. Um, this is just a continuation of that to show a few of the issues that I had um, with various hardware and so on when I was um, setting that up. After I did some tests etc I found that I wasn't actually getting the throughput across my network that I should have been. Um, I'll show you a quick picture of what my configuration is inside my server at the moment. Um, up the top here I've got an onboard network card, um, gigabit, um, then also underneath I've got a PCI Express Edimax branded Realtek chip type card um, and underneath two more Realtek um, chipset network cards from SMC and they're just PCI um, style cards. Um, from there it's just patched in Cat6 cabling through to my garage where it's patched into a switch. Um, now these two ports here are currently unplugged because they're the two network cards that are actually well actually in this case they're actually the two network cards that were working perfectly. Um, these two here are the ones that are playing up at the moment for the purpose of this video to demonstrate what's going on. Um, okay, so now if I go back to my FreeNAS server, and you can see here on the interfaces, this is at this time here was when I had um, just the two network cards connected that were working correctly. You can see here that I was actually getting a fair bit of throughput. On this one here I was um, almost 700 megabits a second and on this one I was um, about 6, um, maybe about 630, 640 megabits a second um, at the most. And then if we go down a little bit um, you can see the other two network interfaces. At the same time um, back here I was doing another test. This is when I had all four network interfaces installed. Um, in the order that I had them, I obviously had them in a bad um, order because this is the first primary network card it was using and after that it was going on falling back to these two network cards which were actually not performing correctly. So at most I was getting about, um, what are we there, about 100 megabits um, roughly on average from that one and not even 10 megabits off that, or maybe 20, 20 megabits at most at the best, at the peak on that. Um, and then this one here was a fourth network card at that time, uh, obviously wasn't getting anything off that one really. Um, okay, and then later on when I took those two out, um, hold on, I'll just scroll back to there. You can see here that this is just with the two network interfaces and, um, configured under the link aggregation. And at that stage we're getting around about 1.3 um, gigabits per second basically. So that is actually a good configuration, those two network cards are working fine. And if we come back down here, um, after I started doing some more tests, if we scroll along, um, just be with me a, me a minute, I'm actually on the wrong interface. So if we go back here, it's a bit off screen actually, it's just in between the times. But um, if we go about the 1 130-ish mark, you can see here we're getting just over 100 megabits a second on that card, and we're getting about 100 and 50 megabits a second on that card. So the overall speed of those cards is pretty poor um, and that's the SMC style uh, Realtek chipset style network cards. Uh, if I could just quickly show you the specs on those, um, that's Edimax one which is actually working not too bad, it's a PCI Express network card, like I said it's a Realtek chipset and that's the SMC ones, um, they're just PCI. Now um, the tests I did to to see what was going on with this um, was just use an application called iPerf which is just a network um, performance testing sort of tool. Um, I'll put a web uh, link to a website where you can look at that, how to use it and download it etc. Now if I go to the bottom of my graphs um, you see there we've got the lag interface so, um, which is my uh, uh, link aggregation interface on my FreeNAS server. Um, the best throughput I got through there was when I had the two network cards by themselves on the link aggregation um, and you can see there we're getting about 1.3 or just under 1.3 um, gigabits a second. So it's actually working quite well and that was to two PCs across my network where I was um, doing the test from and at one point I was actually using three PCs and getting pretty good um, bandwidth across the network. Now the next thing, um, I'll just quickly show you how to use the um, iPerf tool. Okay, so 
basically um, I've just set up a a link to my FreeNAS server using PuTTY. This is just an SSH um, connection. So on there you type the command ipf minus s minus i and then one. Uh, the spaces between those commands. So just type that in and hit enter. That sets up basically a server connection um, that will be monitoring the, the throughput. Now on, on your uh, PCs, on your network, you copy the folder from the link that I'll send you through or you can compile your own IPF, um, just follow the description etc on the uh, underneath in the link etc. Um, now on your PCs you need to type in a command similar to this, it's just IPF uh, C and then the IP address of your FreeNAS server and then minus T, and in this case I'm just putting 30. I did have a, a longer time when I was testing it across the network, so I had time to go around the PCs and, and see what, you know, type it in and, and get them all going. Um, so if we do that, you can see then it just sends traffic basically back and forth across the network to the um, FreeNAS server and it registers the uh, throughput, etc. Um, now, on here you can see that it's, it's hardly getting 10 megabits a second basically. So it's not doing very well at all, um, and that's on two uh, link aggregated SMC gigabit network cards, or PCI ones at this stage. Now I'll change the configuration and I'll come back to you in a second. So I'll just pause the video and I'll swap it out and I'll put the two uh, better network cards in the configuration. You can see what sort of a difference we get. Okay, so I'm back again. It's actually taken quite a while to to set that up and change those two network interfaces over. Uh, but now I've got the two good network interfaces, the, the ones that are working with the link aggregation, installed in here, which is interface um, 0 and 1. Um, I've already set up another PC um, using iPerf to do a network utilization across the network, and I'll also run it on this PC as well. So if I do the same thing, um, and I'll just set it for 30 seconds on this one, the other one's actually got a fair bit. You can see in here that we've got two PCs now going across and they're both getting pretty reasonable speed across the network and that's only using uh, two network cards, not the four. Now as soon as I put the four network cards into this link aggregation, basically this traffic just drops right down, obviously because the um, whatever order it's using or however it deciphers uh, which network interface card it wants to use next in line. Um, it's basically dropping it down to sort of 5 megabits a second or megabytes a second um, and 10 megabytes a second respectively on different interfaces. Um, yeah, so th that's basically it. So hopefully that's of some help. Um, if I find out what's going on with these network cards or if I get a chance to try a couple of other network cards in place of the SMC gigabit cards, I'll uh, post another video later on and let you know how I get on. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.